Oh, well, welcome to Little Paws Homestead. So, this weekend, the meat birds have to go to the coop. So, we need to get a feeder ready after my wonderful, totally not flawed feeder um, fell apart a little bit. This is chicken feeder 1.0. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to use a PVC pipe, but I came out here to start building it and the PVC pipe that we have is actually not wide enough. It's not going to be enough food for them. So we're going to build it out of some wood instead. That's just a plank that I just finished extracting from a pallet. Um, not easy, but free wood is best wood. Uh, we're going to take some boards from the fence. We're going to screw it to the side and we're going to rig her up. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is because we're screwing into wood that is so thin is drill some pilot holes. I'm put one right here. Oh, sorry, I need both my hands to do this. I was going through and I was screwing it all together and I got half of it put on but I realized that it's probably not short enough for the chicks because they're not that tall right now. So we've got table saw set up and we are we ripped one side already. Oh it's a much so much much shorter now. So they can get into that and do their chicken thing. Um I'm gonna take off the other side now, rip it and we'll reattach it and then we'll almost be done. And the birds can go out probably tomorrow. Yeah. It is hot out here. Ooh, okay. So, all screwed together, all ripped. I think that's a much, much better size. Um, so we got the miter saw. Wow, it's so hot, I'm forgetting words now. I got the miter saw out here to uh, chop up some two by fours to do the ends and we get those attached and that'll be pretty much it. Let me sure I'll put it in. Look at that. She fits perfectly. Okay, let's screw her in. I'm ready to have a swim. Wow. We're gonna do this part up here in the shade because it is cooler up here than it is out there in the sun. So, what I just did, sorry about that. What I just did is I just attached these two little uh, eye screws to these what was once one chain, but then I bent one of the links um, open to remove it. So now I have two chains. And if you'll recall from my other video where I made my feeder, I said, never use twine again. It pulls and it frays and it just disintegrates. So we don't want to have that happen again. So now we have chains. So let's go get this set up and uh, go for a swim. All right, we're a little squished in here, but I want to show you the grand wrap up of the new and improved chicken feeder, but first. This is chicken feeder 1.0. It has been condemned to the graveyard. I'll clean it up though. But this, here is chicken feeder 2.0. I'm gonna fill up those holes and it'll be good as gold. So, the biggest thing is that when you're screwing in these bad guys right here, always drill pilot holes. They're not fun to try to put in without pilot holes. Drill some pilot holes. So, I just bent those eye screws open a little bit to get the chain in. I reused some eye hooks from the last feeder. And yeah, there we go. Oh, good. Hope they like it as much as... Well, actually, I hope they like it way more than I enjoyed building it because... I did not enjoy building it. It was hot. So, if you want to see other crazy projects that we get up to here, please click on that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. 
and we're glad to have you along. Take care, I'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.